Hello internet friends! Welcome back to another day of cinematic vlogging. And another day where we're gonna go outside when it's wet and rainy. Or you could even say another day where we're going to Value Village to go shopping. The choice is yours. So this morning I woke up and I had like three ideas, but none of them really were resonating with me, especially with this cold weather. So I did hop online, went on live chat, and thanks to the help of some people interacting, I have an idea now. So I'm really happy that I'm trying to grow my skill set out past just cinematic vlogging and just vlogging in general. So far I'm seeing benefits from just trying to learn all aspects of YouTube that I can. I'm not saying that's the way everyone should go, but it is definitely helping me. For me, it has been a real great help to get some ideas, some input in real time when I need it. So today we are going to go find Halloween costumes for possibly the pups and myself. So I need to get a mask for another vlog idea that I had. And the idea flourished into getting a cute little setup for a dog photo shoot with some costumes. Hopefully a pumpkin costume for my pumpkin. It should be a cute little vlog. It should be fun, which is what I'm really going for is to just bring a little bit of fun back into this. I also really love my dogs and it is easy content to film for me. So I did plug in the idea to ChatGPT and I don't know if I gave it the wrong description, but it was way off on what kind of shots I wanted to get. Luckily, I had a suggestion from Sassy Grilled Cheese to look up Lee Zi Chi's channel. And my friend Totoru, Totoru, dang I'm bad with pronunciation, and kind of romanticize the feeling of daily tasks. Because that's kind of what my vlog is. <laughs> it's usually daily tasks with some exploration mixed in. But I feel like that's kind of perfect. I also am a huge anime fan. I, I love Spirited Away. And I watched the channel and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. We did break it down a little bit to see that the shots would have taken a lot of planning and a lot of execution time. I don't have that, but I get the overall feeling of what I should try and convey. And that is to kind of slow it down and take in the moment and get the moment and possibly more angles. But I have been noticing in my edits that I have not been slowing it down nearly enough when I'm trying to get a shot. So this is really gonna help me, I hope, in that aspect. I think if I slow down the pacing a little bit, romanticize what I'm doing rather than trying to get the shot, not only will I have more fun with it maybe and really be in the moment, but also I think it's gonna help in editing because it's in editing where I notice that I'm not spending enough time in the shot. So hopefully that'll make editing Michelle happier. I'm gonna be dropping the channel that I'm going to be kind of emulating a little bit, taking inspiration from, so that you guys know what I'm talking about down in the description box below. And the last thing I say before I head out is that I want to mention that no matter how the results turn out today, I'm going to have fun. Because I don't know why it's taken me so long to realize this, YouTube was made for the layman. Yes, there are a lot of highly skilled, highly talented people who know what they're doing, but YouTube was built off of the backs of people who were just coming on to have fun. To hit that record and upload button, talk to the camera, and after 10 years, of course, they would be pretty experienced, right? Or going to school for it, or they have the equipment for it. That all is understandable that someone would be better than me if they put time into the skills that I haven't, they've invested in their tools that I haven't, but I don't feel like you need to do that for YouTube. I do think that to improve, you need to do those things if you want to improve. But YouTube has always and hopefully will always be for the public to create. <laughs> you know, I don't know if I'm saying this so right. Um, part of YouTube's charm is its unfinished feeling. I think especially for us millennials who saw the start of YouTube, maybe didn't contribute to it, but were also viewers of it. We know what those early days of YouTube feel like. I think a lot of people want those days back considering a lot of the missteps happening currently with larger channels. And by missteps, I mean crimes, lots of crimes. It's not that serious. That's the important part to remember. It's, it's seriously not that serious. It's not something you should go into saying, hey, I'm gonna upload and have a million subscribers. It's something you go into and say, hey, this is a story I wanna tell. This is a thing I wanna show. This is something I have fun doing. And I think with that romanticized thought of what YouTube is, let's go head out in the rain.
but I'm still on the ground It's a dizzying day Very good, thanks. I went to your website after uh, you rode with me last time. Oh yeah, did you? Yeah. Like it? Oh yeah. Yay. Okay, so before we move on to the next part of the cinematic vlogging, which I know I have a problem with going too fast because I get very anxious filming in public. Uh, I'm also gonna be filming in a private location where they could tell me to stop filming because it's annoying and they would be well within their right to do so. So I want to not capture anyone's attention while also getting the shot. But I'm gonna remind myself that this is fun and I'm gonna slow it down a little bit and just enjoy myself while also being aware. I'm gonna admit, Part of me didn't want to come out today. It's 42 degrees when I left. Sun came out and now it's like 60 and I'm in a very warm sweater, but that's okay. I'm having a lot of fun and just live streaming and talking to people and kind of enjoying the process and getting ideas from others, like getting a little bit of a support system when I'm struggling a little bit has helped out immensely. And I'm coming up with ideas on the fly left and right now. Now that I've got a direction to go, some encouragement, a reminder to myself to have fun and that I don't have to be the perfect professional level person that I want to be, <laughs> it's, it's becoming fun again. It's easily becoming that fun if I just put into perspective what I'm trying to achieve. Could you bring some light to me? Or just sit beside me and happily? I got the curtains up. I guess it would be nice if you could interrupt. Okay, so I'm gonna say this, I am still having fun, I am. <laughs> and I did get Duke a Halloween costume because I think it'd be really cute to see him and his massive body in some fairy wings. So he's gonna be a ladybug, or no, he's gonna be an orange fairy. I still wanna get pumpkin, a pumpkin costume. I was gonna be in the picture too, but I wanted a witch's hat. There were no witch's hats and I don't wanna spend money on a witch's hat because I don't think I will ever do that again. Maybe, I don't know, if I can find one, maybe. So I'm gonna look at the prices of pumpkins at Winco. I just don't kinda wanna buy a pumpkin either. I have um, an issue with spending money to be creative on worthless items, like items that would do me no good. They would do other people good. For me, I don't know so much. I don't know if the worth is there. So I'm gonna take a look at those. I'm gonna see if Winco has, you know, witches hats, maybe they do. Check out Dollar Tree, check out Petco and see if they have any uh, prices on sale for, for pumpkin dog costumes. And if not, this video may have to wait until everything goes on sale. So pumpkins are 33 cents a pound. They look like 10 pounds. We're looking at what, five, $10? I don't know if I want to, to do that. We'll see. Thousands of miles away Every heartbeat Every red Is filled with thoughts of you I am so lost without you And I don't know what to do Sleepless nights Filled with all 
the things I didn't say That I will make it okay Turn back time Never let you slip away Every heart beat Every breath Is filled with thoughts of you I am so lost So we need to talk about the fact that I have been recording myself in slow motion a majority of my talking points, which means no sound. You guys don't get to hear what I said and I don't remember what I said. <laughs> so let's just go over a quick recap and make some main points if I have any. I got Pumpkin a Halloween costume. Five locations. We went. I went to Value Village, then I went to Winco. I found an orange witch hat. Duke is going to be a pumpkin fairy. Pumpkin is going to be a pumpkin and I'm going to be a pumpkin witch. We all have orange. That's the, that's the, the tying theme. I got Duke's fairy outfit at, at Value Village. I got my hat at Winco. I stopped at Petco and PetSmart and there were no pumpkin outfits. And then we went to Spirit Halloween where I now have toddler's outfit in pumpkin. <laughs> and I'm gonna just adjust it as needed. I'm not gonna say how much I spent because I'm gonna say it was worth it because I want Pumpkin in a pumpkin outfit for probably his last Halloween costume. I know I'm putting a sad spin on it, but it's the simple fact that there is urgency, which is why I'm doing it now. I don't know what's up with the crookedness. It was straight all day and now it's crooked. We're gonna go into some final thoughts before we go into the finished product. Oh, I know why it's crooked. It's on a, it's on a tilt. No wonder why it was crooked, it was on a tilt. I'm realizing two things and I wanna finish with some final thoughts before we move on to the finished product. One, this has been very chaotic and I don't think a lot of sense has been made throughout this whole vlog and I apologize for that, especially cause this was supposed to be a more relaxed feeling, more easing into it. I was supposed to be practicing, letting the natural flow happen and just having a nice relaxed day while filming. I had to go to five stores. I didn't know if I was gonna be able to get the things I needed. I also am realizing that I cut off like my thoughts halfway because of circumstances and things moving and thoughts not thinking. I wrote no notes when usually I should be writing notes. And I also think that I did not understand the assignment. I think the suggestion to make a video like Spirited Away or My Neighbor Kotoro, Kororo, Kotoro, one of those things. And the other YouTube channel that I mentioned was more about romanticizing things happening in daily life, like just doing your day and filming it cinematically, not going out shopping and doing crazy running around stuff. So I don't think it's going to totally work. And that's on me. That was me misunderstanding the assignment, like I said. I think what happened there was I was complaining that I didn't want to... Why are things bugging me? I think what was happening there was that I was complaining about not wanting to go outside. Someone suggested something and I already had an idea in mind. <laughs> that was outside and doing stuff. So let's let's figure this out. I don't think it's gonna come together the way I had envisioned originally when I was envisioning it. Sorry, chaotic, chaotic day. We're working, we're practicing, we'll get better. Brain is not braining. The good news is that halfway through the project, I did start to realize that maybe I wanted to change the idea. So yes, this vlog was a little chaotic and I don't know how much I can piece together the words and editing. I'm gonna try my best. But regardless, my dogs are gonna be in a super cute costumes and I'm gonna get really cute photos to keep forever and it was fun. I had a lot of fun the whole day and that's the most important part, I think. And I'm gonna have memories to keep forever and I get to showcase my dogs on the internet and they're cute, so it's all a win. <laughs>
I have what, like 10 more videos to make? I've got plenty of time to practice, plenty of different ways to try and do cinematic vlogging, plenty of inspirations to take from, and plenty of time to realize I may be doing it wrong and figure out ways to do it right. It's okay. Yeah, I feel, I feel good about that. Now how do I end it? I think all that's left to be said is let's take a look at how cute my doggos are and I will see you guys soon. Bye! Are you the most precious? Are you the most precious pumpkin fairy? Yeah. He's so cute. Ah. Leave it for just like two minutes and we'll be good. You're so cute. You little pumpkin fairy. Yes, you are. I'd say if he hated it, he'd tell me. I'd say that's a good way to say he hates it. Just a couple minutes. I'll take this off and then we'll... We'll get your brother dressed. It's so not worth it. It doesn't fit at all. I had to get a toddler's outfit. <laughs> no one wants to be a pumpkin, except for my pumpkin. If I pose him, just the right way, I think it'll work. If I can get that settle, if I can get them to settle down for a hot minute to take a couple photos, it'll be fun. They're both waggy tails. They're not miserable. I'm gonna take this as okay to try and get a couple photos at the very least. <laughs> Sit, stay, good boy, stay. Sit. Yes, good boy. Sit. Come on, your butt. Ah, there we go. Nope, pumpkin. Well, this will be tricky. toddler's outfit. <laughs>